Hello there. Um. Hello there. Are you deaf? Well, I should get... Joseph Ramirez. It's really you. Nice to meet you, I'm Lauren. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? Lately I've been having a crazy day. What's going on? Oh, it's my ex-girlfriend. Oh. I'm bi, is that okay? Yeah, that's okay. I have some bi friends. Oh. Okay. So, what about your ex-girlfriend? She is crazy as hell. Can you explain how? Okay. So I broke up with her because unfortunately she cheated. Damn. Keep in mind this was a few days back. Okay. So, after I left her, her psycho ass showed up at my front door this morning, going crazy and ballistic over a second chance. I changed my phone number so she wouldn't call or text me, my family hates her, and she's been acting real weird and psychotic. She even went as far as stalking me. She's always checking my phone and everything. I'm not with anyone right now because I'm afraid she's going to sabotage my new relationship. Damn. What's her name? Her name is Francine. Oh, that's my great-great-grandmother's name. That's nice to hear. Anyways, can you help me like, get away from her? Like, stop her from being crazy. I don't know what she looks like. Oh, she has red hair. She's wearing a purple unicorn shirt with a blue skirt. That's all I need to know. Tomorrow I'll send her your address so you can talk to her. Alright. Well you know what, I'll take you to your house, and then when I do that I will be on my way home. Do you even know where I live? I don't. Can you tell me? 12 Joseph Ramirez Road. Okay. Got it. Get back with me right now Lauren. No Francine. You cheated, and you're crazy. But I didn't mean to, and I'm crazy for you. How the fuck do you not mean to cheat? You don't know how miserable I've been. Why? You're the one who cheated. I wanted to be in a polyamorous relationship. Why didn't you just say that then? Because I didn't, get back with me. Why did you not accept my calls? Because I changed my number, to avoid your crazy ass. Speaking of crazy. Why are you so crazy? Again, I'm crazy for you. I want to get back with you. Get back with me, 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 get back with me. Oh, I'm glad we're almost here. I'm taking you to Joseph Ramirez's house, and when I do that, I'm leaving. He needs to talk to you. Thanks for taking me to Joseph Ramirez's house. What a nice thing for girlfriends to do. I'm only taking you there because he needs to talk to you about you being crazy. You need to stop being crazy from me, and I'm not your damn girlfriend anymore Francine. Yes the hell you are. No. Who is that woman? No one knows. But... We're about to find out. I want Lauren to be here. So you're Francine? Yes I am. Please call Lauren. I don't even have her number. Hmm. <laughs> she looks like a calm person. I want to be with Lauren now. I have not been the same ever since she left me. I think about her every day ever since our breakup. Okay never mind man. She took me here just so you can talk to me or whatever. Yeah. She told me you're crazy. Oh, so at some point she and her girlfriend broke up, and it looks as if she's not over the breakup. Yeah, seems like it. She and this Lauren woman must be lesbian, or bi. Well we just might never know. She's just like Beryl. But this one's worse. Yeah you're right. I'm crazy just for her. What's the problem? You don't see the problem? 
What the hell? She doesn't want to get with someone as crazy as you. That's the reason why she left you. Stop being crazy. Stop obsessing over Lauren, she's moved on, so I'm certain you can too. Yesterday night she told me you literally showed up to her house, going ballistic over a second chance. Stop that, it's not going to change her mind about getting with you. It will. It won't. She doesn't want you, please get over her. In fact I'm about to teach you how to move on from Lauren and get over her, because you need to. Cut off all communication with her and cease talking to her. If she doesn't want a second chance, she doesn't want a second chance, you have to accept that she doesn't want one, don't force her to have a second chance with you. I have a crazy ex-girlfriend, she's just like you, although she's worse. She's in jail. But this isn't about me. Accept that your relationship with Lauren is over. There may be reasons why you're not getting over her, and that's okay. We will get to that in a minute. Give yourself some time. Ensure your own well-being and make friends and family a priority. You should get away from social media for a while, three minutes later. That's how you get over your ex-girlfriend. Don't talk to her. But how am I going to get home? She was my ride home. I'll take you to your home. Give me your address. 525 Plot Beckett Avenue. Okay. Hey there, Lindsay. Hey there. Where is Joseph at? He went to take some woman home. Huh? Long story short, he was talking to the woman, and he told the woman that he should cut ties with her ex-girlfriend. But the thing is, her ex-girlfriend was her ride home. So he had to take her home. Oh. It was most likely the same woman I saw with another woman when I was at GCP. Did the woman have red hair? Which one? The woman Joseph is taking home, since you said it was probably the same woman you saw at GCP. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that woman too. She's crazy. I saw her flip out at another woman when that woman told her no to a second chance. That's probably why Joseph told the woman he's taking home to cut all communication with her ex-girlfriend. I recommend that she cut all ties with her too if she's crazy. One of my ex-girlfriends came back. She and her sister have a crush on me. Little do they know that I already have a girlfriend. Guess they need to be reminded. I can't believe it's been 8 years since Lovebirds was released. Yeah, sure was. There was this one crazy couple that appeared on the show. It was real crazy. The woman that appeared on the show with you at first came in contact with me. She told me she wanted to see you and get in touch with you. For real? I want to see what she looks like. Eight years is crazy. Almost a decade. I didn't know you loved me that much. Well I do. Keep in mind. I'm not just dating you, I'm dating Deidre. Oh, I know. Are you thinking about a polyamorous relationship? Nah, not really. 